welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an empties video, so I'm super, super excited. So with this, I did not let myself buy anything for the month of December, and it's now February. So I kind of went on a no buy. I kind of wanted to use up a lot of product. I get a lot of product due to my job. So I wanted to go ahead and use what I had and then purchase um, what I wanted, if that makes sense, because there's new product every week. So it can get a little bit intense. So I have this bag of goodies and let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, make sure to subscribe, like this video and hit that bell icon to be notified every single time I upload. I typically upload about twice a week, Monday and Friday, and that way you won't ever miss out on any content from me. Also, hit the share button and share it with your best friend or whoever you think needs to go on a no buy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Along with this, I wanted to see what products I'm going to repurchase and kind of what products will fail, a miss, all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first product is a Pacifica Moisture Rehab Rose and Coconut Makeup Removing Towelettes. I am not a big fan of towelettes. I think they just move makeup around on your face. They don't do a good job at taking off the makeup. I typically have to go in and double cleanse on top of it. Plus the chemicals that you're putting on your face due to what's inside on the um, wet towelette. It's, it's a lot of gunk on your face and can clog pores and cause issues. That being said, this brand Pacifica has really, really clean ingredients and I really, really enjoyed them. But this was mainly just to help with foundation and just a, another cleanse before I went in and deep cleanse. The next product is the Detox Clear Invisible Dry Shampoo and I loved this. I'm actually going to have to repurchase this because no dry shampoo I've been using is this good. Uh, this gives you no color. I have very, um, well not very dark, but I do have darker hair. So if it has any white cast at all, I notice it. And actually I was using a, I think a big and sexy one. And literally I was at work and the hairstylists were like, did you paint your hair white? And I was like, no, why? And they were like, because you have white all up in your hair. And so I immediately got home, threw that away, and I will have to just repurchase this today after work because there's nothing like it. It's good for fine hair, thick hair, any kind of hair. Go ahead and do yourself a favor. I know it's a little bit more expensive than Pantene, but just do it, especially if you have darker hair like me. If I have blonde hair, I don't think it would matter as much, but... Definitely because I have that dark hair, I want to have a good dry shampoo. The next product is another wet wipe, and it is the Bolero Cleansing Facial Wipes, and this is the Lavender and Chamomile. I liked these. I was given this by uh, Patrice, who is Unique Gifts 07 here on YouTube. I will link her down in the description box below. She gave me this in a like one of her box swaps. Um, about once a season, we all send each other some boxes with some goodies, and this was in one of them. And I, I, I did like them. I mean, I, I don't hate wipes typically, but again, it's kind of more of if I'm feeling lazy, I'm just going to kind of do that across my face, especially because I had a really bad sty a couple months ago, and it swelled up my eye completely. So with that being said, I just loved to wash my face with one of these. It wasn't the best for my face, and I broke out a lot after I started getting back on my skincare. But for a good, just non-oily cleanse, this was a really good one. And the ingredients are not bad. Um, it does have fragrance, but nothing really really crazy. The next product is another dry shampoo. It is the Panty Volume. I will not be purchasing this. Um, I did not like it. it. It wasn't awful. A lot of people like this one, but it didn't soak up the oils from my hair and a whole thing that came of it with the hairstylist and I just won't be repurchasing this anytime soon. Okay, so now on to some makeup. 
The first thing is the Long Home Fix It and Forget It Facial Spray. It's the 24 Makeup Setting Mist. I bought this because I loved the nozzle. It was super, super fine, and I did a haul on it. I'll link it down below or in the iCard above. But I did not like this. I... I just didn't like the nozzle. I know that that's like why I bought it, but it didn't feel like, it felt like I had to do like 10 sprays instead of like 2 to get an even coating on my face. So with that being said, I don't think it's a bad product, it's just not something I really liked and I repurchased my Urban Decay All Nighter. Okay, the next product is going to be this guy and this is the Peter Thomas Roth, what are you? Oh, okay, the name scratched off, but I believe it's the the Thermal Water Moisturizer. I have used all of the contents of this thing up. I enjoyed it. I think Peter Thomas Roth is a great brand, but I'm kind of expensive. I do believe in his ingredients and everything like that, but I don't think I'm going to reach for this one. I think I'm going to go for the Cloud Moisturizer before I go with this one again. It was an okay one. I didn't feel like it really moisturized me. Um, but it didn't do anything bad, so it's a pretty okay, pretty okay one. The next product is the small travel version of the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I bought this one before buying the full size because I wanted to try it out and see if I liked it. Because I tried it a couple years ago and I hated it. Um, it didn't keep my makeup in place, it didn't keep the oil at bay, so I just passed on it. And then after training... I really wanted to try this again. I think I might have hauled this as well. Um, and honestly, I love it. It's my go-to. I will spray this on a couple times a day. You don't need to, but I do. And so it's definitely something I've repurchased. I actually repurchased during the holidays. It was like after the holidays, it was on clearance or sale. They had like the double pack. So you got like one, you got two for like $10 more than the price of one. And then with the sale, you got two of them for less than the price of one. So I went ahead and just got the bundle, and I've been really happy with it. The next product is a primer, and it's the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. I liked it. It's not going to be something I buy again. But the thing is, though, is this is dimethicone and it can kind of sit on top of your skin, it doesn't sink in. So when I put my foundation on on top of it, it smears around, it looks nasty. So not one of my favorites. I bought this because I wanted to try the, the Benefit one because it's very, very similar. And honestly, if you look at the ingredients in the Benefit one and this one, they're almost exactly the same. And I'm not paying $30 for Dimethicone. So I went ahead and purchased this one, it was good, wasn't amazed by it, but it's not like a bad, I just, I, I'm not going to repurchase this at the moment, I have a favorite one um, that I'm using right now that I'll share with you later, but as for this one, it was good, if you like it, it's a good one on the budget, but I am not going to be repurchasing this anytime soon. The next is a mascara, and this is a It Cosmetic lash blowout mascara and this is their new mascara that's like with the dry bar and i love this mascara i would have to say it's even probably one of my number one um mascaras of 2019 and it is amazing i got this one for free it was sent to me it was given to me by the company but i just i i enjoy using this every single day I enjoyed it and I just, I love the packaging, I love everything about this. It curled my lashes, it kept them nice and long and full, and I got so many compliments on it. So definitely will be picking this up again, but probably only when it's on sale because I have a ton of mascaras. The next product is a brow pencil. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit in 2.75, it's the red shade. And I will not be repurchasing this. I just i don't like it as much as anastasia um granted i'm a little bit biased because i got trained by one of anastasia's like reps 
And so she came over, she showed me how to do my brows. She used like five different products on me. So therefore I know my correct color and I know exactly what to use when. And the brush that they have with Anastasia is um, parallel to anything I have used in the cosmetic world. I, I really thought it was all talk and then I used it and I, I realized how thin it was and how perfect it is for filling in the eyebrows and I just said that's it I'm gonna have to just go with Anastasia so I also used this up really quickly so that's also a down, downfall but I probably won't be repurchasing this anytime soon okay a couple mascaras I have three I have the Essence Lash Princess I have the Colourpop BFF Mascara and I have the um, Lash Discovery Mascara in Waterproof by Maybelline. So the Lash Discovery is a go-to for me. I always have it in my collection and it's always in Waterproof. I use it to prime my lashes and it keeps my curl because mine grow down. They don't grow up. So curling my lashes is a very tedious thing. And I've used heated eyelash curlers. I want to get an eyelash perm. But I've seen the results of that not being as like pretty as that you think you're gonna get. So I'm I'm kind of on the fence about it. But this is something in my kit at all times, and the reason being is because it's so small of a handle. I have a wand. I don't even know if y'all can see that. But basically, I it just it coats it keeps the curl. But it's such a thin layer that I can go over with any mascara and not get like a different effect. So it lets that mascara shine through even though I have a little bit of a primer. So the next product is the BFF, BFF mascara from ColourPop. I, I want to say that I loved it. I loved how this made my lashes look. With that being said, it, I have never had a mascara flake on me, and this was Flake City. So as much as I want to say I love it, and I do, I love how it made my eyelashes look, I can't support it because it flaked all over my face, and it looked nasty by the end of the day, and I cannot be looking that way. So unfortunately, I got a lot of compliments on it. But I can't, I can't repurchase it. So, what what? The last one is my newest one, and it's the Essence Lash Princess. Amazing. I think it's like the number one in the U.S. or something. It's less than, like, it's like five dollars, if not less. And it is one of the best mascaras. I kept getting compliments on this. I got it from clients. I got it from associates. They always asked me what I was using. And this is what it was, and it's just, it's an affordable mascara, and makes them look really long and full. And this is the green one in the Fall Slash Effect, and I just really enjoyed using this. I thought it was a great bang for my buck. I will be repurchasing this, and if you see it in your local Ulta, please pick it up because you won't be disappointed. The next product is another eye eyebrow pencil. This is a NYX Micro. And this actually was like months ago. I uh, This is from my old apartment. It is completely used up. Nothing is coming out. And I wanted this because I thought it would be comparable to the Anastasia one. And while it does have a nice small little tip, it doesn't... It's not as creamy as the Anastasia one. And the color I have is ash brown. And it's just not as... It's not my favorite. I don't think it's bad. Um, it's just I like the Anastasia right now and I can purchase that right now so I'll be doing the Anastasia one over the NYX but if you are looking for a good brow pencil on a budget this would be a great one. I, it reminded me a lot of the Tatcha one but I actually like the same power of the Tatcha one better than this one so I might purchase this again just to see a little bit more of my opinions but as of right now, I am sticking with the Tatcha one, and I love that one. It is a lot more pricey, but it does have better ingredients than the NYX one. Not the NYX. 
Yeah, I think it's the NYX or the e.l.f. one. The e.l.f. one has talc in it, and I will not use anything with talc. So I went ahead and splurge on the Tatcha. But if you guys are looking for something similar, I would recommend this tenfold. Fold. It is amazing. It's very, very similar in texture. But I just have to give it another shot because I've forgotten everything about this. Because this is from months and months and months ago in the in the summer. So I need to repurchase this probably and give it another shot and let you guys know what I thought. That was all of my empties and what I repurchased, what I won't. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, again, get, give it a thumbs up, like the video, share it with your best friend. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these products and what you thought of them. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next one. And bye!